Hey guys, welcome back to more PES 2017. Today we are going to try and do a little bit of negotiating just before the transfer window ends. So this is what we got going on guys. Um, so these are all the guys that we're trying to uh, negotiate with. So we're trying to get some, you know, faster players and whatnot. And uh, yeah, uh, Sane, there's like not much chance of him happening. I think this Embolo guy as well, not much, there's like no chance. Like it gives you like a rating, like... Um, uh, like a like out of five like what the chances are and then and that guy at the end has got like no chance but we're gonna try and go for it anyway this is what you suggested so let's uh continue on today guys so while we're waiting on some transfer news guys we've got uh one more league game just at the end of august so we'll uh, get this one over with today hopefully maybe sign some players in this episode and then we just sort of move on from there i think we've got your is it europa league game coming up next guys so hopefully we can uh sort of get through that oh dear god no get, oh, 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 oh. get up get up uh, uh. header yeah get in there one nil already man not bad not bad to be honest that co that corner you didn't see it there but it came off like a really crappy shot but it worked out you know what i mean keeper didn't come out for that but um I'm telling you, man, this year on, 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 on PES 2017, I'm much better. Normally, I don't like to cross the ball into the box, but I tell you what, I score like probably most of my goals from crossing into the box these days. I don't know, just I feel like it works better. So, it's a good start, that one. No, no, oh no, don't do that, oh god, dramatic save or what, why? <laughs> you know I, mean? I hate that when it's just like a really weak shot and the keepers have to do like really dramatic saves. Like what, let's, let's look at it again. Like come, <laughs> you know, you could have like got down and like got two hands on that, she said, whatever. But yeah. Come on, don't concede now. God, don't. I hate it when they sort of like run into the box like that. Pick it up, yeah. Oh, yes! Ah, oh, man! So close. Not bad, though. Not bad. Could see him making the run. I was, like, holding off it. And then... Ah, oh, it was almost... And it would have been a good thing, guys. Oh, maybe this time? Ah! Oh, bullshit! Oh man, come on. Say I'm I'm good with them balls over the top though. She said. Oh. Oh. Bang! Ah oh, man, never mind. Arky's up front. I don't I don't think I mentioned that because he's on an up arrow. Man, we feel like we should get another goal soon, though. Yeah, that was soft target. That was that was bum fodder. Stolen away, pretty nicely. Get the shot off. Ah, oh, I think that's corner. Please be nice. Yeah, I don't want to see the replay. Give me the corner. Come on, come on. Oh, we do get it. And uh, put it about. Really, we want it about there-ish. But I think the keeper might get it first. Oh, wait, you know he hasn't. Oh. It was alright, I suppose. Let's go out wide. And whip it in. Oh! oh. We've got to score one of these this season. It has to happen, doesn't it? Let's have a look at that again. Out wide. Into the box. Oh, and marked. Oh, that was terrible. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Oh, 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 what? Oh, something's going to happen at some point or other, man. How far are we into this match now? I tell you what, they haven't really had a chance. We've used a couple of subs up. But, um, yeah, actually kind of like their kit, actually. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, right at the end of this game. Really could have done with a second goal, though, just to, you know, get a bit of insurance. 
get an insurance policy, guys, you know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know now. Like, we've just got to keep it going. We've played well in this one so far. And obviously, it's not going to be easy, though. You know what I mean? Like, trying to maybe, like, compete against Sporting and um, Benfica, Porto, maybe to the title. So, you know what I mean? This is the good old challenge of it. And we're here. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, guys, seriously, get this away. Seriously, guys, Jesus. So, three minutes added on here. Come on, come on, just keep this now. Come on. Oh, crap. No, don't try that shit. Don't try that shit. I hate it when they do that. Come on, man. Yeah, there we go. Only a 1 0 win, but still, that's all it took to do. We really should have had maybe one, possibly two more there. But we'll take three points to there. Also, man of the match was uh, Luis Carlos with a 7.0. Well, nothing really seems to be happening in terms of negotiations, guys. We haven't heard anything back yet. So we're just going to go forward onto the final day here and just see what happens now because that's all we can do. So I hope that we haven't left it too late. Jeez. It's like nothing's happened yet. And I'm getting a little bit concerned. Yeah, I mean, we've got 20 million to spend and I kind of want to do something. Oh, there we go. So we've received some offers. There's been some updates. Transfers for Sane have broken down, broken down, broken down. But holy shit, like all of them are broken down, man. Nobody wants to join us. Oh, great. Um, at least we got one of them back. So that might be a good thing, guys. If we only just get one player, then that uh, that might be something. But I think there's one in our team here. And I think it was Alan. Um, so we received a, a transfer fee of 9 million for him. So what is he? He's 37 and he's 74 rated. He's 37 and we've just received uh, an offer of 9 million for him. Yeah, you can friggin' have him for that. Holy shit, man. The thing is, though, doing that will take, um, take a little bit of time. So, like, doing that takes, like, two hours off your 15 left, guys. So you get 15 hours, uh, left in the deadline there and then, uh, you know, then it just sort of like whittles down just a little bit by little bit. So you can actually sort of like forward the time and skip one hour. If you, if you do something in the transfer market, like takes two hours off. So really, we need to sort of see what's going on here. Um, so who's this guy? <laughs> who's that one? I think he must have been an old one. But anyway, there's this guy right here. One of you suggested him. And he's, it looks all right. He's 17, though. He's 17. He's 71 rated for an attacking midfielder. That is really good, guys. So, um, uh, go on then. I guess we'll. Can we. Can we. 73%. So. No, we don't want to do that. It's probably not best to do that because, uh, you know, you just want to accept it straight away. So at least we got one signing in there. We still got 25 mil left, guys. So I think I'm going to have to have a little bit of a look at bringing someone else in just before the window closes, if possible, guys. So I'm going to go away and do that. Um, offer for Ringstad. Albregon has joined up with a squad. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to have a little bit of a cheeky thing on Turan here. I'm going to try and request a one-year loan on that. Um, oh, actually, we're kind of pushing it a bit now, aren't we? Oh, I didn't really think about that, to be honest. Negotiations uh, have broken down. Oh, at least we know straight away something's broken down there. Fair enough. Um, the other one that I wanted to go for was... Uh, let me see here. It was still in the loan one. It was the guy from Milan, Menez here, uh, was one that I was going to look at. So I was going to look at trying to get him on loan as well. So we've got seven hours left. Really pushing it now, guys. Really pushing it. Please don't break down. Please. Uh, broken down. Great. Freaking hell, man. Honestly. <laughs> oh, God. I don't think we're going to get anybody now at that this rate. Um, all right, then. Fair enough. We can't do anything about that. So we'll go back to um, this. Who is transfer listed? Roberto Firmino. But he's at Arsenal. So, wait a minute, he's tra <laughs> he's transferred to Arsenal, and then all of a sudden they're trying to get him back out of the club straight away. That makes no sense, man. I don't think we'd get him, though, to be honest. I mean, how much is he going to be worth? I don't, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, apparently we can't anywhere, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Glitch or what or something, guys? I don't know. There's Remy. We was having a look at him before. 
Again, not too sure about Remy though. Ashley Young has got the speed. Again, not too sure about that. So the thing is, we're better off going for someone who we're more likely to sign, to be honest. So there's Jay Campbell here as a winger, and he's got some really good speed about him. So that's I'm looking at that as an option, possibly, guys. Um, so nobody else is really standing out for me. Um, so there's this guy from Everton, De 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 whatever the friggin' hell is near, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that, to be honest. But the thing is that if we do try to, because he's only got two out of the five, so it's like, you know what, we need to play it safe, to be honest, guys. Um, so I'm going to go for Campbell instead and try to see if I can do something on that. So five hours to go. Please don't break down this time. Please don't. There's been an update, so the Arsenal are willing to sell in it, uh, sell him to us at the last second. If we can just get one sort of good fast player in, then that'll do, guys. Really, to be honest, and don't forget he's 78 and he's he's still kind of youngish. I think he's 24, so that's not too bad. Um, what what was this guy right here as well? <laughs> what was this guy? He's pretty pacey too. You know, it might be just worth like buying a couple of players to be honest, guys. Ooh, actually. Terms have been set. To be honest, we haven't got time to waste, so we're just going to have to sort of maybe go for it. Maybe if we do bring in um, these two. But I think this guy is, is actually an on-loan player as well, so it might just be the case that we get them both guys, and we'll do that. And then we know at least we've signed some players to try and help out a bit, you know what I mean, inject a bit of pace into the team. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just, I hate the transfer window, guys, because it's just like, just just like a million and one players that you could sign, and, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's a million and one that you could sign, and um, whoever you get, you just don't know. So we'll sign him as well. Let's do that. We've, we've done that. Two hours to go. We might have to maybe sell a player or something now, possibly, to see what there is there. And uh, let's have a look. So we'll go to our team. Um, see, see, oh, Sunderland have offered five million for this guy. How old is he? He's twenty nine. This guy's twenty nine. He's rated the exact same. Six million or five million. Mm. So that one's that guy's better defensively. So you're probably looking for the guy who's got the better defence, really, aren't you? Uh, when it comes to right-backs and stuff. So maybe we should sell a right-back, possibly, guys. Is that a thing? Is that something we're going to do? We've got another one here. Well, how old is he? He's 22, so he could get some game time. So I guess that wouldn't be too bad. There's this guy right here. He's set, uh, 21, but he's 70 rated. Kind of don't want to get rid of him. Or there's this guy who's 71 rated, but he's 25. So left-back. You know what? I think we'll... Then again, saying that, we probably want to get rid of the guy first who we're going to get more money for. There's also this guy right here, but he's, uh, well, he's 26 and he's uh, 74. Obviously, we're going to need him for maybe attacking or whatever. Uh, you know, I mean, we've got so many attackers in this team, man, but whatever, really. Um, so I think we'll get rid of this guy, then we'll accept that. Is that going to knock off the remaining time, is it? Yeah, it has. So we'll we'll do that. We'll take some money as well. So then we know we've got a little bit of budget there that will help maybe in January when the when it comes around again. To be honest, there's a million and one players. We actually have signed some uh, players, so you know, I mean, it'll help us out just a little bit. And both our strikers are actually up there for team of the month. That's which is pretty cool. And uh, I think what we're gonna do now, guys, is go ahead to our Europa League game. So yeah, we're against Nalapult scare or whatever in the, in, in the Europa League guys in the first round but we've got Benfica coming up so I'm thinking of maybe just leaving the Benfica game as a full match on its own guys we'll maybe do things a little bit different this time with this series and uh, after that as a full match so we're going to go ahead to Europa League I haven't actually gone through who we've got in the Europa League guys so I'm going to have to just check that out really quickly so I didn't actually bother to have a look at it um, so group stage AC Milan, Southampton, Braga. Oh, man, we got Southampton and AC Milan in our group. Holy shit. Holy crap, man. That is some group. That's going to take something to uh, get through. So, really, this game coming up, we really need to win that. What else is going on? Uh, Fiorentina's group. Schalke, St. Etienne. Chelsea are in Europa League uh, with Ajax. Uh, we got Lazio, Fiorentina. 
Valencia, Liverpool, Porto. That should be an interesting group there. What Manchester United, Genoa. Um, that Europa, Europa League is. The, look, Manchester City are in here as well, man. This Europa League's the way to go these days. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> um, Villarreal, Monaco, Monaco, man. It's uh, uh, Roma there and Alkmaar. AC Milan, Southampton, Braga. <laughs> Oh dear, you know what, while we're at it, we might as well check who's in the Champions League then, what's going on in there. I know and Sabgrave, Napoli, Juventus, Besiktas, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Leicester in there. Got Pez United in there. <laughs> Um, uh, we've got Tottenham, Feyenoord, and uh, that's actually a good one. Club Bruges, Feyenoord, Tottenham, and Barca. That's kind of an interesting one. PSV, and uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So, Jesus, the Europa League is actually more <laughs> interesting than the Champions League. Just got to say, guys, like really quickly, that this um this uh, little menu here looks really nice, actually, nicely done. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and obviously we'll have the home and away there. Let's go to our first Europa League game. Can't stand Europa League, guys, honestly. I really can't, but to be honest, like, I'm looking forward to this, looking at the groups, man. It looks more interesting than Champions League, like I say, so screw it, man. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, I don't know when we've got, like, Milan and, uh, Southampton coming up. Oh, that should have been a goal. Arky's in there again. Arky always seems to be on form, man. So, uh, yeah, we got Campbell sitting on the bench for this one. Um, and bang! Ah, oh, never mind there. Uh. Oh, it's got to be... Yes! Wow, that was bad. You know, I think so far in this um, series, we've had like a few goals that we've had, haven't we? Where we've won the ball back and just sort of passed it back into the middle there and then got a goal from it. And uh, it's Rui, Rui Fonte, man. Bit of a ledge. He's he's starting to be a ledge. Look at this right here. That is awful, man. That is really awful. And then obviously he's on side. He's just got to tuck it away. What kind of dive was that from the keeper? <laughs> Let's have a look at the dive again. Did you, what? what? Good idea, just poorly executed. Has a look. Oh, good effort. Good effort. Thought we'd go for it from there. Unlucky, though. Let's take a look at it again, though. Just kind of fell in a bit of space quite nicely. Oh. Oh shit! Oh, you know, it should have been a goal. That really would any any other day, man. Any other day, any other team <laughs> would have been a goal. Oh man, we were just ball watching that. When you look at sort of maybe how organised our defence looked there for a moment as well, but we get away with it. Yes, good. Good. Oh, nicely done there. That was a good uh, cross in there. Just, just reached the uh, the cross in with his head and puts it in. I think Font Fonte's going to be the man this season by the looks of it. So he's getting the goals. Not a bad little ball in there if we just have a look here. So if we can get a good lead in this, we can maybe try out some of our new signings. Just gets to that. Oh crap, oh crap, oh save, was that a save? I can't even see what happened there. Replay that, replay that, come on, replay that, let's have a look. It's gone back heel, it's gone for the shot, oh, should have been that. You know what, this could have easily been 2-2 so far. I think we've been a little bit lucky so far with this. Corner to defend early on. That's what we're going to need, though, this season. We're going to need a bit of luck. Oh, off the line. Oh, and again. Oh, man. They could have been free up. Well, free too, I guess. I think I think it hit the post, actually. That I don't think our men cleared it. Got another one to defend, then. Jeez, we're going to get a break here. Just going to whip it in again. And this time we do clear it. Oh no, again! Ah, oh, that time they've got it though. Damn, man, you know what? They were gonna. They're just looking like they're gonna get one, but to be honest, I feel like we're kind of in danger of letting this go now. 
we've had a pretty good lead so far, you know what I'm saying? And now it just feels like they're just coming at us full force and we might concede. Yeah, I mean, this is what this is why it makes me worry when we've got like Benfica coming up in the next episode, and we got like AC Milan, Southampton coming up. You know, what I mean, you, you know what they can be capable of. But um, come on, we really need another one now. Stupid bullshit goal. Oh yes! Oh, that is bull. Oh man, I tell you, I love these these over the top balls. I'm telling you, I love them. Exciting. That's a 2 1 at half time. I'm actually kind of nervous a little bit into the second half. Third goal needed. Goes for the shot. Oh, not too bad. Are we going to get another chance, perhaps? Oh, another save. Unbelievable. So close. Oh, that's got to be... Oh, you know, I thought the keeper was coming out there, so I tried to go for the chip. There's a good ball in. Yes, yes! Yo! Ball! Oh, everything's just balls, man. Come on, there's got to be that third goal soon. I could just see us not getting it, and then they just get a ball crap goal right at the end. Unbelievable. Yes, yes! <laughs> Again? How? How are you missing this? Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, please. Not if mean. Maybe another? No, come on, just hold on now. I've made some subs, but they're not going to get time to come on. So, what's going on here? Come on. Oh, there we go, guys. So, I don't, oh, wait, there wasn't any <laughs> added on time. Yeah, we've done it in the end. They did look like they was going to maybe get a second uh, early on in that second half. It was a pretty good game. Some of our chances were really close. So, we've got 12 shots, half of them on target. All right, then. And the man of the match today was Fonte. It had to be, really, didn't it? So anyway, guys, in our next episode, we are going to have the full game against Benfica. And then uh, we're just going to continue from there. We do have AC Milan coming up at the end of September uh, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, um, really, really uh, good one today, guys. We've won both games, uh, not by very much in each, but still, it's what we needed off to a good start. Southampton have actually beaten AC Milan in their first game. Well, we're not going to look at the league tables and stuff like that because it's not too important at this point. Um, but yeah, join us for the next one next time, guys. So yeah, transfer window over, done and dusted. Let's move on and forward. Please do call, rate, subscribe, and share as always. Join us for the big Benfica game next time. See you then.